Hi, and welcome to Morning Meditation. We're going to be receiving from Isaiah 54 in the Passion Translation. May these words encourage you, and may you receive the promises in these passages. We're going to do some breathing to help us relax and get centered to meditate on God's Word. I'm going to do box breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. I take four beats on those with a four beat break in between. Let's do those together right now. Hope you're relaxed. If not, pause the video and do a couple more. We're going to do the Lord's Prayer together, but I do it in an expanded version where I can really meditate on it phrase by phrase. So I'm going to say it and you can just repeat it after me and feel free to pause if you need more time on any of this. Let's pray. Our Father who rules and reigns from heaven, holy are you, Father. Holy is your name in all the earth. May your kingdom come. May your will be done in all the earth and in my life as it is in heaven. Thank you to provide all my needs this day. Infuse me with your unconditional love today. I repent, Father, for all the ways I have sinned against you. I repent, Father, for all the ways I have sinned against my fellow humans. I thank you to forgive me for all of my sins. And I choose to extend this same forgiveness to those who have sinned against me. I release them from all sense of wrong against me. And I commend them into your capable hands, Father. Help me to stay in forgiveness all day long. Keep me from undue testing and help me from falling into temptation. I thank you for your divine protection today. For me and all my loved ones. From all evil. Father, yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power. And yours is the glory. I pray this all in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to quickly pray. Father God, thank you for the wonderful words that you brought through your prophet Isaiah. May these words bless us and fill us with your goodness and knowledge and peace. 
I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Isaiah 54, verse 14 in the Passion Translation. You will be established in righteousness. Oppression, be far from them. Fear, be far from them. Yes, terror will not come near you, nor will you be afraid. Oppression may come. Fear may come, but they are not from God. Acts 10.38 says that the miracles Jesus did were freeing those oppressed by the devil. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 says that God did not give you a spirit of fear. These aren't from him. So as you practice daily repentance, as you choose to connect to the God who made you, this is your right now inheritance. Terror will not come near you. Fear cannot gain a foothold. When you are full of the peace of God, these cannot gain strength in you. Negative emotions can be told to leave. Try it. Repent of agreeing with fear, then tell it to go. It's quite powerful. Your inheritance in God through Jesus is peace. Once you tell something negative to leave, you ask a positive of God to come in. Hope, joy, peace, love. The goodness of God, that's what I've done. Your inheritance in God through Jesus is peace, not fear or oppression. This is our promise from God. Worship and praise is a natural pouring out of the soul. I'm going to do some spontaneous worship, and I hope you join in or just receive or echo or speak or add your own tune. <laughs> Thank you for your goodness, Lord. May it be true for me according to your word. Amen. You can pause this video, jump out to your favorite worship song, and keep praising and worship the Lord. You can even do it just by speaking. Prophetic Art and Their Prophetic Words founded this ministry. Visit the store to get some encouraging words from the Lord. Apostello Ministries